Ah, what a lovely sunset. Wouldn't it just be great to have an All the Mod 7 video today? Hmm, I think so. Maybe we'll do something with Stonework Factories or something like that. Hello, dudes and dudettes. Welcome back to All the Mod 7 with you, buddy. Here's Super Turtle. Guys, I just want to thank you all so much. Uh, as of recording this video right now, we have 15,505 subscribers. So thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. You I just, I love your faces. So we're going to be doing something a little fun today. Um, we desperately need to get sand created, our glass. Uh, and it's the only thing we don't have automated. Um, because if we look here to make an infinite storage, well, for one, we need an obtainium, right? We need a lot of gold, a lot of iron. But, like, slime is automated, flax automated, redstone automated, diamonds automated, iron automated, gold automated. The only thing we don't have automated is unobtainium and vibranium. And those two, like, we, uh, we kind of, like, won't ever automate unless we go into bees or seeds. But, like, those are a little bit outside of our reach, um, for today. Possibly next episode we could go knock those out. Uh, you never know. Um, but anyway, for this episode, those are out of reach. Um, and I do have another, I have a 16 million storage, uh, and we're going to get a couple more of those today. Um, so if we do 16 like this, as you can see, like sand is the only thing we're missing. So what I want to do is actually set up the automation for glass, uh, which material stonework factories can do. Um, if we pump some cobble uh, into these guys um, as you are a couple deep slate as you can see it will give us glass it'll just automate this you know uh, we don't really have to worry too much about it oh wow that gives us rock wool too okay connect connecting glass that's pretty cool uh silicone it's for applied energy so we don't really use that um but yeah like we can get all of these different sand variants uh we could even get we can even automate deep slate so we're gonna get definitely a lot of these because we use a lot of deep slate uh and then we can also get this uh diorite uh, which I know people don't like. However, uh, the diorite that we've, the blocks we've been using down here for the walls, this is cut diorite. Now I think diorite should always look like this. I love this texture. Uh, it's a lot smoother. It's doesn't, it, the contrast isn't as high, but this is all cut diorite from Create. So I want to continue to make this. Uh, oh, and I have changed this room up a little bit here, as you can see. Uh, I've lowered it one block. I've extended out a block this way, a block um, this no, yeah, a block this way. And um, yeah, we have four per. They're all iron tier. Uh, move this up or just kept it at the same. And then I've upgraded the enriching factor here. This will process all of our items uh, once we get it all taken care of. It's not even fully done. And then this will soon be our storage area. Uh, as you can see, it's still not done. And then I moved the... Um, what's this called? Um, this is where the urinite processing center uh this is where it's been moved to i'm tr still trying to dial this in i don't really like how this looks but yeah that's all automated there's an importer on the back of this that gets it out of our refined storage system so whenever we get it um it just means we got to move our uh building quarry again maybe make it a little bit bigger this time but yeah guys um really really cool so let's get started into the material stonework factories so what we need is a latex processing unit um how do we get the, the latex? Oh, we need a fluid extractor. Uh, this is the guy that starts everything off. So we need gold and we need a pity machine like this. And we set this in front of some wood and this, oh, it's placed in the right way. This, we do this. As you can see, uh, after this goes down, Bam, we have a little bit of latex. Now we can power this guy. So let's grab some cells. We don't need anything crazy. So we can just grab one of the basic uh, cells here, export out. And so now this should go a little bit faster. Yes, as you can see, it's also doing more as well. So what we want to do is eventually we'll have a full area set up for this. Um, you know, where a bunch of these are processing, but we'll just get a few going right now. Um, we're out of the redstone blocks. That's totally okay. Ooh, we're out of the pistons too. That's okay. We can make a bunch. All right. So now we can take a few of these guys and we're actually going to already move this. Um, if I do that, yes. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Sorry, jetpack is a little difficult to navigate sometimes. There we go. Okay. 
So we've got a few of these dudes going. You can put placers in front of these to, you know, continue to work their magic. Um, we're just going to place this here, output, and we need some cable, cable. Now these are way overkill, but they'll do just fine. But yeah, now all of these guys are getting power. We're producing uh, quite a bit of latex. And so once those are all done, um, do, do, do. these dark tanks are flipping awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to move these forward one block in just a second. And with them moved forward, we can go ahead and take our mechanical pipes right here and pull the latex out. And we can put it into this guy. As you can see, it is filling up slowly but surely. We can put even speed upgrades on these as well. Uh, but yeah, this is a very temporary setup, but this is going to get us the latex we need in order to start making the tiny rubber. Uh, but we need a latex processing unit here. So once we get a bucket, we can craft this guy up. So let's get ready for it. Um, do do do. Bam. Make just a few of those. And a bucket of water. We will get two buckets, one here, and okay, we're about halfway full now. So I'll wait just a little bit longer and then we'll grab the latex bucket. All right, so this guy's good to go now. Uh, so now we have a latex bucket and we can go here, latex processing unit, uh, very cool. We can just break that guy for now, put the latex processing unit here, and as you can see, that's starting to fill up. Um, can we set this to pull from the top? Mm, I don't know. We might need to set up a pipe, uh, which isn't too big of a deal. Let's just, oh, we got one left. Cool. Let's just, oh, that, let's place it in the wrong spot. <laughs> here we go. And then the configure taters. Bam, all the latex is out of there. Cool. All right, and it looks like we need, ooh, Harvest Moon. We need a sink. All right. So we will place this. So I would just place, oh, frick. That's not what I wanted to do. Place it here. Boom, and then place that there, and then pull water out. There we go. And so all we gotta do is give this guy a little juice. And bam, now we're starting to process some goods. Yeah, these are the tiny guys. Okay, so how much does that take? Oh, it's only 100 per. Cool. So we now have plastic semi-automated. Once we have nine of these, we can create the dry rubber. That gives us one of these, and then we can make our way up to the material stonework factory. So let's work on getting everything we need. We are going to need to set up a mob slaughter factory. This guy here. Okay, so we need two of those. I'm going to make some axes. And then, yeah, we just need the the plastic. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for this guy. Oh, look at that. We already got one. Very good. Oops. Cool. And then once this has the second one made up, we'll go ahead and smelt them. And then we will set up the mob slaughter factory. All right, there's the final amount. It's a little bit more. Um, all of our latex is processing. Cool, but now we have the two there. The sound of playing is a little eerie, even though it's a harvest moon. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw those here. So now those are both smelted up. All right, and doo -doo -doo -doo. we need the mob slaughter. This will give us the pink slime down at the bottom. Um, and then we still need couple of those to process we just need two more but the thing we need as well is a dissolution chamber um, okay so we're gonna need quite a few of the plastic uh, maybe we add some more to the um, we need a pipe yeah this guy Maybe we add some more of the fluid extractors to make this go a little bit quicker because we got the cable. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, fluid extractor, that's not it. 
Okay, we won't be able to use the door, but we don't use that door right now anyway, because we're not really using tinker tools. <laughs> Other than the sword, right? Okay, so we got a couple more on there. Let's get the basic pipe. Cool beans, and then pull out of there. Perfect. Okay. So I got those going more. So this should be moving a bit quicker now. Um, yeah. So that will be awesome. And this illusion chamber. We need a diamond gear. I know it's not the most uh, cost effective one, but we have plenty of diamonds. So it doesn't really matter to me. 14. Okay. So let's get this mob slaughter factory created here real quick. We're going to need a range upgrade. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. is this it? Industrial four going? Yes. Okay. So let's do. Oh, we need the disillusion chamber in order to make one of these. Okay. Well, we need an alternative. So that we're gonna grab some tanks. We got two of them. We have the mechanical pipe. We do. Okay. Cool. So, oh, not that way. What we'll do is we'll shut off. We will shut off the thingamabob. Uh, this is zombies. Hang on. The bats have been running wild, causing a bunch of lag. Um. So if you want to know how to get rid of all of a specific mob, just do that, and we'll turn those on real quick. Okay, you're here. And then we can just put the cell on the back. Output. Yep. We're gonna be, we're gonna pump that stuff out. Um, mechanical pipe. Okay, going this way. Oops. So what we can do is do one of these guys. Here we go. Where? <laughs> this is so weird. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Okay, we're just gonna. I'm gonna sit here for a bit. We'll let this send it, and we'll have a good time, I guess, doing it. Okay, so we got a big pink slime bucket. We got quite a few of these guys, which is amazing. Um, yeah, so we have a total of six. Let's get these guys processed. So we should be able to start making the disillusion chamber. Let's get those guys in there. I wish that was a little closer to here, but anyway, who cares? So disillusion chamber. Bam lamb, we got it. Um, yes. So let us see here. Now that we have the disillusion chamber, we don't need that. Uh, mob slaughter factor, we don't need. Fluid extractor, we don't need. Latex processing unit, don't need. Don't need. Don't need. Material stone working factory. Okay. So we need some crafting tables. Got a few of those. We need some diamond pickaxes. Got a few of those, literally just a few. Um, pink slime, we need glass. Panes, what a pain. So here, and then we just do this, right? Yep, okay. So 1,000 makes. Okay, so it uses 300. So one, two, oh, we just need to do it two more times. You can't stack it, I forgot. That's not fun. You can always lock it too, so they can only put one glass thing here, which is cool. So you can automate this process, which we can do in the future, and I'd like to. Um, but yeah, we're but we're gonna lose a, a hundred pink slime, but that's okay. We have three of these guys, a hundred left. So if I do this, pick it up and then place it down. Yep, it's empty. We can start putting latex in here. I think. 
Uh, no, we need pink slime. <laughs> that was a waste. Oh my goodness. Uh, so now we need to make the simple storage machine. This needs the latex. Okay. Um, See, so yeah, we're going to temporarily break that. We're going to put a, another tank there. Tank. Uh, yes, boom. Should probably break that so we don't accidentally put water in it. I'm glad no water went into it because that would have been a little silly. Uh, and then now we have enough so we can do one of these guys. Put the latex in here. Yes, yes. So that will give us a simple storage machine. So we need 250 mega buckets. All right. And I should probably. Oh, I did. Okay. So we need two rubber. Uh, what was that? Plastic, sorry. So we just need two of these. Okay. And do, do, do. we need a pity machine. We'll make one more. I think I had a bunch in there. That's okay. We need nether bricks. Um, we can make some. Get in there, nether bricks. Okay. There's our nether bricks. All right, and then iron and gold gear. Iron and a gold gear. Yes, we have that. Perfect. So we put them in here. So rubber, rubber, uh, pity machine, bing, bong, bing, bing, jabang. And then we should start making it. Yes, there we go. Perfect. And then the next one, which is the advanced machine frame, uh, does require 500 millibuckets of pink slime. But there's our simple guy. Oh, this is still putting stuff in. We got to break it. I think I just wasted all of that. Please don't cringe too hard at me. All right. Fluid extractor. Do, do. There we go. This will keep making us the latex plastic thing in my doohickeys. Perf. Okay. So I do have a bucket here. How are we looking? 600... Okay, so I need to go AFK here for just a little bit longer and let that fill up. There they are. Alrighty, so we have the dissolution chamber. We have the bucket of pink slime. So now we have a thousand, uh, which means that we can start making the advanced guy. So uh, we need the simple guy up at the top. Um, we need the two plastic here. Bang, bang. Then we need some netherite scrap. Uh, we got a few of that. Okay. And then gold and a diamond gear. Diamond gear to gold. Perfect. And with this processed up, we have our advanced machine frame, which is great. Uh, material stonework factory, we just need the two plastic, which we have. Let's put them, put them up in here. Don't worry, we will work on an automation process for this, and no problemo. And that should be it. Material Stonework Factory. Okay, so we just spent the whole episode basically trying to get to this guy. So let's take a look. We need some lava and we need some water. We can take some water, put it in here. Do I have any more lava buckets over here? I might. You're going to have to move, buddy. No. You're going to have to go back, buddy. So I need to go get some lava. I know where there's a bunch. I'll be back. One successful another trip later, we can click it on here. And now we have both of those in, so all we gotta do is supply it with some power. Let's see, will a dimensional simple cell be sufficient? Yes, it is, perfect. Okay, so we're getting that here. If we do the grinding, this will turn it into gravel. This will turn it into sand. 
and then that will smelt it. Nothing. Cool. So we have just automated glass. Uh, now it is extremely slow, and we can work on some speed upgrades. Um, Industrial foregoing does have a few of them. Let's see if we can find them here real quick. Oh, let's see. Da, da, da. Hmm. Let's see, can we find them through speed upgrades maybe? Yes, here they are. Okay, so speed add-on and tier one and tier two. So tier one is going to require a bucket of latex. That's okay. And tier two is also going to require a bucket of latex. But we can go ahead and make both of those up. Let's turn the remaining. Uh, we're only going to get one out of it. That's okay. We're going to turn that into a pink slime. Uh, let's see. We can use this for other things as well. I, I believe it just replaces slime blocks normally, which is pretty neat. So we'll go ahead and break this. Put this here. And then we'll put the dissolution chamber here. So this is getting filled up with latex. We'll let this go for a little while. Uh, we got to restock here. It's okay. We'll set maybe maybe we'll move this to a more permanent location that will process all of it. Though I don't really know of where we can move it. We might just bump this wall out a little bit or make a tunnel going through here. That might be our best option because we kind of did that over here. It looks pretty good. Uh, and I think having like a little door here will be good. We'll have a room over there. But yeah. All right, so we have enough latex processed up now, so we can start going with one of those speed upgrades. Um, I believe we should go ahead and upgrade this system first, and I believe the tier two, yeah, the difference is just the diamond gears. So we have all of those crafted up. Um, so I might try to make one for every single one of these machines. Um, but yeah, let's put this in here now, and as you can see, it's already faster, which is fantastic. So we'll go ahead and make the tier two, and I'm pretty sure both need to be in there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, if they're both not supposed to be in there, or you can just have one, but I'm pretty sure both have to be in there, like tier one and then tier two goes in. So if not, well, I guess we could always test it out now. Um, so tier two. Oh, that's right, we need to make the energy upgrades. Um, I can never spell tier right. Huh. See, I messed it up several times in just that time. Uh, processing efficiency. This is what we need. So efficiency one is blaze rods. Okay, so we can easily do that. So let's go ahead and try to do that. So it just everything's the same except for the sugar. And we'll get rid of that. And then the gold gears. Cool. So this means it will use less energy, um, which is awesome. How are we looking on, oh, we need to refill one of them. That is okay. All right, and the efficiency upgrade is on. So here we go, tier one. Okay, it's gonna make us create the tier two efficiency upgrade. So it's the same thing. Boom, 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 and boom, boom. Cool. So that makes sense. And I wonder if you have the tier two, like efficiency and speed, if it'll let you do that. Just those two. Or try it. So efficiency. Efficiency and speed. Oh, okay. So you do have to have both of them. That is interesting. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, this is moving much faster. Um, so this is efficiency, this is speed. What about processing? Um, so processing is a furnace, a furnace and a crafting table. I don't know, let's try it. Um, furnace and a crafting table. All right, so furnace crafting table, U2, U2, and hang on. We're going to use the tier two. Okay, so yeah, now we're crafting it up. We were just waiting on latex, which is totally okay. Bam. Okay, 
right, so processing, can we even put this in here? We can. Interesting, I feel like that is significantly faster. Look, each time, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's definitely quicker. Holy cow, that's awesome. So we're going to have all of our guys have those. We're going to have several of those, but we need to find a spot for this guy, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and knock this wall. Not like knock the whole wall, but I'm going to put a little tunnel here, and we'll go through it, uh, and then we'll have our other stuff on the other side. Yeah, that makes sense. Haha! -ha. All right, guys. So I've done quite a bit of work. As you see, we've moved the reactor into the wall here, put the little charge pad here. I mean, that's not too much in the way. Um, this is four wide because this this wall is an even number. That wall is an odd number. So I had to go with this. Uh, move the coke oven here. We're going to be using this a lot because we're going to start getting into the garden cloches. But yeah, uh, as you can see, uh, we have some pretty cool things here. Um, yeah, I'm really liking the way this is looking. And boom, here we go. We have a fully automated plastic. Um, so yeah, the way it works is these fluid extractors, um, they are all powered. Um, they harvest these oak logs. Um, for the latex, the latex gets pumped out into um, this mechanical pipe. It gets split into these two different uh, latex processing units. I, I tried one. Uh, it was getting kind of backed up, so I switched to uh, having two here. And it uh, seems to be doing really well. I wanted to do three, but we needed a spot to put water in. So I have a sink here uh, going into two mechanical pipes, giving us water. Um, and it seems to be keeping up just fine. Now, I did want to do the basic logistical transporters here uh, because I did want to see the latex um, or, yeah, the, the rubber going through here. And then we just set up a, a, a tier one crafter. So they get pumped into this side here. Um, this says, hey, when I have nine total tiny dry rubber, I'm going to craft one big one. And after that, they get pulled out here and put into an energized smelter. And then just below this is a ender chest that the uh, smelter is pushing them out. So let me go around to the back because this is 100% automated. This will continue to run no matter what. And I'll show you how. So we have bonsai uh, pots here. Oh, that one's not full, so it's not running. We need to make sure those are all running. Let me grab some saplings. Oh, no, wait, hang on. I know where the saplings are. We can get more. Anyway, um, yeah, so dirt and sapling. Perfect. Okay, so now all of them have one, right? Nope, this one I missed somehow. Okay, do they still have the upgrades? No. Oh, my goodness. This isn't automated because I have dropped the ball. Uh, oh, and these are taking damage, so I will... What? Not all four, you dingus. Okay. Um, I have to do this manually. Give me a second. Okay, so now these are all automated. So we have a hopper and an iron axe in each of these, and uh, af after it fully grows, it harvests it puts it into here, and then we have item filters on these pipes that only allow the oak logs to be put into here. I don't know how the saplings got in. Um, maybe that was just a fluke, because when I was setting these up, it was a little wonky. But yeah, as you can see, these all go in. The cool, the great thing about it is it's 100% automated. We can also do this to make this look better back here. Uh, you can't technically see it through. Uh, back there, but now it looks good. We'll have to work on that, make that look a little bit better. But yeah, uh, I'm going to switch all those axes to the all the modium ones. We do have enough all the modium to go ahead and create those. So I will definitely do that off camera so that this is 100% automatic. Uh, each of these do have a void upgrade onto them, so we won't worry about like backing up or anything like that. It'll just keep voiding everything we have. However, I probably need to lock them so that the... Um, the wood never gets too far backed up, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, I'll do that off camera. But yeah, we're, we're looking good. Um, that's going to be one of our slots. And what I'd like to do is in each one of these little slots have a different farm set up. So like I made sure not to go... Uh, like I, we have enough room for something else. doesn't have to butt up against it. Uh, but I tried to keep it all within here. Um, so that we could use these little pods for something. We might even just have like storage or something here or like auto crafting or crafter or something like that. Um, but yeah, like these bigger ones will definitely have like 
processes like this. Or maybe we'll set up a smaller one like this because we do need the dissolution chamber. So maybe we'll put that here or something or something along those lines because we do need a separate latex processing area. But yeah, that's where we're at for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure that like button is always over here. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Today we made the Stonework Factory. We'll go ahead and make a bunch more of those later on. But for today, we did great. I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.